I'm David Tillman, author of NootropicsExpert.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I know about choline bitrotrate, what it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and possible side effects. Choline bitrotrate is, a chol is choline combined with tartaric acid. Tartaric acid helps increase the bioavailability and effectiveness of this nootropic. Choline was declared an essential nutrient by the Food and Nutrition Board of the National Institute of Medicine in the USA in 1998. Choline is considered an essential nutrient because when your body uses it faster than it can produce it, you need supplemental choline either from food or from a supplement. Now, choline is found in foods such as fish, beef steak and liver, chicken liver, eggs, cog, cod, uh, broccoli, peanut butter, and milk. You need choline for the production of uh, the neurotransmitter acetylcholine and to form phosphatidylcholine, or PC, which is used in building cell membranes. In fact, choline is essential to cognition and nerve function, and without it, we couldn't move think, sleep, or remember anything. Numerous human and animal studies have shown enhanced brain function when given supplemental choline. Now we're going to talk a bit about the different sources of choline that's available as nootropics because people when they're new to neurohacking often get confused by this. So let's see if we can straighten that out right now. What's the difference between choline, choline bitartrate, CDP choline, and alpha-GPC? Well, first of all, choline is a water-soluble nutrient and its composition is similar to B vitamins. Choline bitartrate, CDP choline, choline citrate, and alpha-GPC, they're all sources of choline. Now, choline bitartrate it's an economical form of choline and about 40% choline by weight. So one gram of choline bitartrate offers about 400 milligrams of actual choline. It does not easily cross the blood-brain barrier. So you won't experience the same level of nootropic benefits as you would with alpha-GPC or CDP choline. Now CDP choline, it's only about 18% choline by weight but your body naturally synthesizes choline into CDP choline. It's then converted into phosphatidylcholine, or PC, which assists cell membranes and helps create acetylcholine. And finally, alpha-GPC. It's about 40% choline by weight and easily crosses the blood-brain barrier. Alpha-GPC naturally occurs in your brain as a byproduct of phosphatidylcholine, or PC, when your brain needs more choline and the choline floating around in your brain is running low, it breaks down PC from cell membranes and turns it into alpha-GPC. Now your body and brain loves it when you use choline because it doesn't have to cannibalize its own cells to get more choline. So how does um, choline bitartrate actually work in the brain? Well, a couple of ways stand out. First of all, as we said earlier, choline bitartrate boosts acetylcholine, the neurotransmitter tied to memory and overall brain function. Choline bitartrate is a precursor to acetylcholine, improving the efficiency of communications between neurons in your brain. This increase in neural signaling boosts memory, learning, cognition, uh, cognitive processing, and mental clarity. Our research team in the Netherlands set out to determine if choline bitartrate could affect coordination of movement and visual perception. In this study, they worked with a group of 28 people who took 2 grams of choline bitartrate or a placebo. An hour and 10 minutes after they took the choline or the placebo, they had the participants rapidly attempting to hit the center of a target. Participants who took the choline were not only more accurate at hitting the target center than the placebo group, they also did it faster. The researchers concluded there was a choline-induced bias towards precision, speed, and accuracy. 
and then they measured the pupil size in the participants. And they determined the changes in pupil size suggest that choline, uh, that the uptake, that choline uptake alters cholinergic functions in the nervous system. And the second way, choline bitrate it boosts memory. Researchers and medical professionals have long known about poor memory in people with a choline deficiency. A study at Northwestern University in Chicago tested people with, cho uh, with choline deficiency. They gave them a series of uh, memory tests and then they had uh, and showed that their scores were below average. In this study, they gave the group um, one group extra choline and the others were given a placebo. After 24 weeks, both groups repeated the memory tests. The group who received the extra choline showed a dramatic improvement in memory. The placebo group performed poorly as expected with scores the same as in the original test. So this is where choline bitter trade comes to the rescue. Research from hundreds of studies has shown that choline eliminates brain fog and confusion. It boosts energy. It improves learning. It enhances memory and recall. It helps focus and reduces irritability. It improves physical performance. And it eliminates fatigue. Now, choline bitrate is water soluble. Once it's digested, it'll enter your bloodstream and across the blood brain barrier. And once in your brain, it boosts um, neural signal transmission and it repairs neurons. Choline bitrate improves your brain function and memory by increasing the production of acetylcholine and prevents neurons from getting cannibalized when your brain is searching for more choline. So how does choline bitrate feel when you use it as a supplement? Well, after taking it, you should feel a boost in your ability to think, um, your mood should improve, and your energy level should go up. Choline bitter trait influences the level of acetylcholine in your brain. This crucial neurotransmitter affects memory, cognition, recall, and, and learning. Low levels of choline will leave you with uh, brain fog and an inability to think clearly. You may also experience a drop in mood and some irritability. Now, if you're using anything from the racetam family of nootropics and you experience a headache, your brain is likely starved for choline. It's a classic place where you should be adding something like choline bitter tray to your stack. And we've got plenty of research on choline, specifically choline bitter trait. Uh, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for choline bitter trait, and you'll see links through to all the studies about how it um, solved dementia in elderly patients. Um, it improved memory. Um, choline bitter trait helps with exercise and muscle performance. It's all there at, choline, at, at Nootropics Expert. As for dosage, recommended cho uh, choline bitter trait dosage is 500 milligrams to 3,000 milligrams per day. You can use higher doses of choline bitter trait because it is water soluble um, uh, version of choline um, and a limited amount of this choline source will actually cross the blood-brain barrier. Other fat-soluble um, versions of choline such as alpha-GPC and CDV choline will readily cross, cross the blood-brain barrier and make its way into your cells so lower doses are required. So remember choline bitter trait is water-soluble it doesn't easily cross into your brain. The other two versions Alpha-GPC and CDP-choline are fat-soluble and they easily cross into your brain um, so you need lower doses. The side effects, recommend dosage um, uh, even for extended periods is considered well tolerated and safe. Now while choline bitter trade is considered non-toxic, it is possible to experience toxicity with too much choline in your body. If you experience trouble sleeping, you have a headache, diarrhea, low or high blood pressure, nausea, blurred vision, or chest pain, you should stop using uh, choline bitter trait. 
The available forms, choline bitrate is sold in capsule or powder form. Capsules are usually 500 milligrams each. Many pre-made nootropic stacks available on the market and even some brand name vitamins contain choline bitrate in their formula. Just check the label. So my nootropics expert recommendation for choline bitrate is 500 milligrams to 3,000 milligrams per day. And that's my report on choline bitrate. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for choline bitrate. Or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of the video and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using choline bitrate, go to my article on nootropicsexpert.com and leave it in the comments section at the bottom of the article. If you want to see more videos on all the popular nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.